Um, there were a lot of times, Saoirse, in the film uh, where I felt like I saw myself or my friends when I was a teenager, and I think a lot of people have that relatability to it. Did you, yeah. did you have that with Lady Bird as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, she's one of these girls that you sort of want to be and you want to be friends with, and the relationships in her life are so important to sort of shaping who she is. Um, and I think because Greta has spent so much time and has given so much attention to each person, everyone's sort of been able to find themselves in either her or Julie or her mother or her dad or whatever, um, which is which is great. So. And it's been so universally adored as well and um, with well-deserved nominations and awards. Does it, you've got a few Oscar nods now under your belt, does it get any, does the impact come down at all or is it, is it still so impactful when that happens? Yeah, no, it's still great. It's still brilliant. And uh, actually, the very first time I got nominated, I was in New Zealand. I was in Wellywood. And um, I, it's, yeah, it's different every time. I remember being in total shock because I was so young, you know, and had no experience with the award circuit and all that stuff before and then for Brooklyn a couple of years ago it was like incredibly emotional because it was so much about home and you know my parents and all of that and and this time the same it was I think the fact that it's being shared with Greta and Greta has been recognized for the brilliant work she's done and this brilliant brilliant film that she's put together um makes it incredibly special for us so and you have you mentioned New Zealand there. You have worked with a lot of amazing New Zealanders like Peter Jackson yeah. and Nola Dwyer. Yeah. What kind of impact um, did they have on your career to date? Oh my gosh! Well, Finola produced Brooklyn, so um, she had a, her work has I guess had a, an impact um, on me for sure because I got to be involved in that with John Crowley and everything. And Pete is, is, you know, Pete and his family are still really great friends of mine. And I think that was like, not only the biggest job scale wise that I had done at that time, but also the shoot was so long. It was nine months and so much of it was just me on my own. So working just with a director and having him be so hands-on in the way that he is and the two of us sort of like doing it together was um, a relationship I hadn't had to that extent with a director before. And just like, you know, the 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 crews, and I'm saying this because I know people at home are in New Zealand are gonna watch it, but like the crews are so brilliant in New Zealand and they were, you know, always so brilliant and supportive of me. So being in that kind of environment when you were a kid gave you such a high expectation when you went on to the next thing, you know? And having started so young, started acting so young, I think you were six years old, were you? I was, I was nine. Yeah. Didn't, didn't I see something recently, though, that you did some acting when you were six Oh, I did. I was half clown, half, half human. <laughs> that's right. That's what half clown, yeah, half yeah. human, yeah. Um, so having started so young, though, and having worked on such major productions... And like the half clown, that, half like human. Like the half clown, half human. Done. Yeah. <laughs> at six. <laughs> when you're working with other young actors, do you feel a sense of kind of protection? Do you offer them guidance or, um, you know, cautionary tales, perhaps? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I never want to come along to anyone younger than me and be patronising to them in any way and sort of go, listen, I'll show you the ropes. But I do know how important it is to have someone who's a little bit older than you but sort of close to you in age just, like, you know, look after you a bit. And I, do, I think I do get very, very protective over younger people that I've worked with, even the likes of Timmy, who's going through all of this madness right now, and he's handling it so well. But, you know, it's it's a lot for a any person. And even when you're on set as a young person, like I, I know the people on each film who really took me under their wing and I love them for it. So, you know, I, I do feel a responsibility to do that for other people. Thank you so much. I remember um, Nola Dwyer saying, Saoirse like inertia. Saoirse like inertia, yeah. Tell me how to say your name. Yeah. Very nice to meet you, Oh, Saoirse nice inertia. to meet you. Thank you. Oh, I miss New Zealand now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, we'll send our love back to the Yeah.